Richard Nichols, 9 Great Boar's Head Avenue. Um, I don't believe Dave Lang um, indicated how he arrived at the 27151600, but I believe that that amount is the budget as submitted, Selectman's budget as submitted, minus roughly about $363,000 for an adjustment, which was a function of getting the final rates from the LGC versus the initial estimate, which was higher. Um, so essentially, it looks to me like essentially what was originally asked for. If you look at um, the budget as was initially reflected on the Warren article, 26379040, and the default budget is very close, if all the Warren articles were to pass with that budget as submitted by the Budget Committee, the town portion of the tax rate will go up by roughly about 14.5%. If we rise to this number of 27151600, I would estimate we're up at between an 18 and a 19 percent increase in the town tax rate. I had calculated it at 19 and a half percent based on the Selectman's original budget, 27,000, 27,515,000, I think it was. So before we start with this amendment, if all Warren articles were to pass, we're looking at a 14.5% increase in the town tax rate, and that, a most, that is driven mostly by selectmen recommended, selectmen submitted Warren articles. Petitioned Warren articles are about a four to $500,000 tax impact. So even backing petitioned Warren articles out, if none of them passed, we'd still be at a 12 or a 13% increase with the 26379040. It's, Hampton's not gonna die if, if, if our tax rate doesn't go up by orders of magnitude of 14, 12%, 19%, 18%, or whatever. Um, 27151 just guarantees that the taxpayers will not um, approve the budget and, and um, probably will impact maybe some other Warren articles that are more important in terms of being approved, and I'm opposed to the amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nichols. 